There's this huge misconception that love hurts. Well, that is nonsense. Love doesn't hurt. It's the lack of love that hurts. It's the withdrawal of love. It's the withdrawal of affection. The withdrawal of compliments. The withdrawal of time spent together. The withdrawal of gifts. The withdrawal of somebody who feels or needs. That is what hurts, not love. Love feels good. Love feels warm. Love feels abundant. Love is the thing that we all crave. We wouldn't crave love if it felt bad, right? We crave it because it feels so good. So it's not love that hurts, it's the lack of love. I'm glad we got it straight. Why does that hurt? That is the thing that we need to understand. The withdrawal of love hurts because we weren't giving ourselves these things in the first place. We weren't meeting our own needs. We were relying on our boyfriend, on our girlfriend to make us feel good. We were relying on our parents, on our co-workers, on our friends. Because we weren't filling these needs on our own. This is why when somebody breaks up with you, it feels like they left a hole behind. It feels like they broke your heart. It feels like something is missing. Well, that is because you weren't meeting your own needs, honey. You weren't there for yourself in the first place and you were relying on someone else and that is completely unstable. That is something that will keep hurting you over and over and over and over and over again. And no, I'm not saying it won't hurt at all when somebody leaves you. I'm not saying it won't hurt at all when somebody insults you. It won't hurt at all when somebody betrays you. Yes, it might hurt. But it won't hurt nearly as much when you are filling your own needs. You need to start filling your own emotional needs. I'm not telling you to be completely independent in other things. There are certain things where you can depend on others. It's healthy to depend on others. But it's not healthy to depend on others when it comes to your emotional needs. Because there will never be someone who will always do these things. And you will always end up hurt. You will always end up disappointed. You will be the one suffering. So how do you start meeting these needs? How do you make yourself emotionally independent? Well, first of all, you start looking at the things that the other person was meeting for you. Where they're giving you compliments that make you feel so good. Well, start giving yourself these compliments every morning when you brush your teeth. Tell yourself, mm, you look so amazing today. You woke up good. You're doing amazing. I'm so proud of you that you're taking care of yourself. Start giving yourself these compliments. When you walk um, by a store and you see the window, you see your reflection, give yourself a compliment. Oh my God, I look so good. I look so sexy today. Give yourself compliments on a regular basis, every day. Give yourself a compliment for something you did. And I'm not telling you to make things up. I'm telling you to compliment this, you yourself about things that you truly feel good about. If you don't feel good about your body at the moment, compliment yourself for how smart you were, for the project you developed at work. Compliment yourself for, you know, taking the initiative and starting to exercise, for eating healthy. Compliment yourself for the tiniest little thing that makes you actually feel good about yourself. And by that, you're meeting the need for compliments. And by the way, you will soon notice that the more compliments you're giving yourself, the less you're actually relying on other people's compliments, the less you're seeking the compliments from others. And yes, the more compliments you actually start getting because people notice that, because you're emanating that. It's like somehow people know that you feel good about yourself, that you're complimenting yourself, so they want to compliment you even more. So how do you meet the other needs? How do you meet the needs for quality, the need for quality time? Well, what do you like to do? Go ahead and spend some quality time with yourself. And I don't mean, um, you know, watching Netflix, lying there eating chips, feeling bad about yourself. 
What I mean, go ahead and do things that excite you. Go ahead and take yourself out. Take yourself out to eat. And I'm not telling you to go out with your friends or to find a new um, lover. No, go by yourself. Go by yourself. Read a nice book. Go by yourself and do something fun that you enjoy doing. Take yourself out. Take care of your own quality time. And by that, you will also attract new people into your life who enjoy doing these things as well. You will attract actually people who are meeting their own needs as well. So how do you meet the need for affection? Well, you're probably guessing it right. Give yourself affection. You're craving physical touch? Give yourself physical touch. Be affectionate of yourself. Be nice to yourself. Be compassionate. Yes, we are making mistakes. That's okay. Everyone is making mistakes. Laugh about it. It's no big deal. Be compassionate with yourself as you would be compassionate with your partner because you deserve it. You deserve to be treated in the best possible way. So give yourself the compassion. Give yourself the affection. Give yourself the physical touch that you crave. There's nothing wrong with touching yourself. In fact, you should be doing that because it increases your well-being. It increases your oxytocin. It increases your feelings of safety. Just um, alone by putting your hand on your heart and saying, I'm safe. I can relax. You are calming your nervous system. So you are actually doing something really good for yourself. You are reducing your stress. You're making sure that you're enjoying life more because you're not watching out all the time for the bad things happening to you. You can actually relax. So that is something really good that you're doing for yourself right there. You feel good when somebody buys you gifts? Is that your love language? Well, go ahead and buy yourself gifts. Make a big deal out of it. Wow, I bought myself this amazing bag or these amazing shoes. Wow, I took myself out. Wow, I bought myself flowers. You can do all of that. If it makes you feel good, do it. If it makes you feel loved, do it. It's that simple. I think you're getting the hang of it. You simply do the things that your partner used to do to make you feel loved. And that takes a lot of self-awareness. So in the first place, you should be sitting down and writing down the things that made you feel loved so that you know what you are craving, so that you know what you are missing, when the person is gone, so that you can give these things to yourself and make yourself hurt less when you are alone. And by the way, it's very dangerous because when you actually enjoy being single, when you enjoy being alone, then your choices are open, right? Then you don't jump at the first opportunity. Then somebody truly needs to deserve you. Then somebody truly needs to be there for you. So you reduce the chances of somebody mistreating you. And besides that, you're doing your new partner a favor. Nobody should require you to meet their emotional needs. You can't do that. It's impossible to always meet other people's emotional needs. You can't do that because you don't know what they're needing at the moment. So what you are doing, you are actually setting up your relationship for success when you are meeting your own emotional needs because you won't have as much conflict. You will be much more confident about yourself and in the relationship. You will be much more relaxed and that person will notice it. That person will notice that the relationship with you is so different than the relationships they had before. Because let's be honest, most people are not meeting their own emotional needs. So by meeting your needs, you're actually creating a win-win situation. A win situation for yourself and a win situation for your future relationships. And also, if you are in a current relationship right now, it's also very helpful to start meeting your own needs because you will create much more harmony and much less conflict because you are not relying on your partner to make you happy to make you feel loved 
anymore. It's just a bonus, right? So you're actually doing yourself and the people around you a huge, huge favor. So let's recap. It's not love that creates pain, it's the lack, the withdrawal of love. And we can reduce that pain by actually meeting our own emotional needs. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment below. I'm always very happy to hear from you, to hear your feedback. And I'm so, so very excited to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.